Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Board Show right here on Smash FM here on Melbourne Cup Day here in Melbourne. Of course, let's go up to our friends up in Queensland and, of course, speak with uh, one of our sponsored teams up there in Queensland. Of course, that is the, the Panthers uh, Softball Club because uh, we've got two very special guests joining us right now because they are our ambassadors um, for this upcoming season. And, of course, that is Amaya and Chelsea. Thanks uh, both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Um, tell us a bit about uh, how's the season gone so far. Are you going to make? <laughs> yeah, um, the season so far is going good for A grade. I think we've won all our games. Um, I don't. I think we've only had a couple runs scored against us as well, like so far. So, um, yeah, it's looking good. And I'm in A two, so NMA is in A one. So I think we've had a couple losses, sadly, but. Um, I reckon we can come back from it later, like in the future season. <laughs> well, up in the White Bay area, um, of course, you're making that long yeah. journey down to uh, Brisbane to play every weekend. Um, how's that been like? How's that juggling, you know, travelling all the way from Bundaberg to uh, obviously to Brisbane to play? Pretty good. Like I've gotten pretty used to it now. I come up every second weekend. Um and yeah, it's just exciting when I know I'm coming to Brisbane. I'm just, yeah. Do you miss, you know, not being there every week? Um, yeah, I do like get a bit, um, I don't know, the words FOMO um, when everyone's all together. But I also like playing in my Bundy season two down here. So I don't get like too upset about it. But yeah. Okay, well, we might get to your Bundy season in a moment. How's the preparations like going to uh, this week's game? And are you playing this week, Charles? Um, yes, I am playing this weekend in Brisbane. Um, yeah, it's been good. So, like, obviously, I'm coming down for training now. Um, probably need to get a bit more fielding work in at the moment. My fielding's not been too good, but um. Yeah, as a season, because we're doing the summer series as well, we're getting, like, a lot more, um, like, game scenarios. So it's really good because it's, like, it's, well, I think playing games better than training, you know, obviously. But, like, so I think doing the Super Series, that's also really um, benefiting a lot of players and um and me, hopefully, as well. So how's the summer series going, Amaya? And how's your team travelling? We start off really well. Um, we had a win. And then we've had two losses so far, but we've got a game next week and I'm feeling, I'm feeling a win. Tell us how's your Bundy team going up there? I think we've I've only played two weekends in Bundy and the weekend is gone. We lost by one run. Um, it was a pretty good game by the like towards the end because it started off, we were down like 6-1, I think. And then we came back, so that was good. And then I think... Um, when I was away, we did Mercy a team. So, yeah, pretty good. I've got to ask you, Chelsea, for anyone um, that has no idea what uh, Mercy is in the sport of softball, what's uh, what's the what's Mercy for anyone that they have no idea the sport of softball? Um, so I think after a certain amount of innings, I'm not sure how many it is, but there's like... Um, the seven run, which is probably the most like common, where if you're seven runs ahead of the other team, they just call the game because um, it's not very likely that you'll come back in that situation. I've got to ask this question for both of you. What's the expectations for the defending champs? We want to win. We have to win again. Another win, another W. Yeah, <laughs> always. <laughs> I just said that's the only option. Winning is the only option. I know both of you were involved in state championships in the last month or so. Um, how did uh, your respective state champs team go throughout, uh, I would say, the last two or three weeks that uh, it was on? So I was in Brisbane Red. Um, we ended up coming second overall. Um, for, we were in the, there's two groups for our state champs and we were in the... Um, number one, the top one a grade and um yeah we i think i think girls played really well i reckon um we had a lot of good like hits and um our pitches did really well as well but um yeah came away with second place so a bit bit iffy but um 
yeah, it was a good, it was a good um, tournament, I reckon. I played for Harvey Bay and we were in the like division two and I think we came fifth. So it wasn't the greatest tournament, but it was still fun. So Charles, how how difficult was it to play against uh, your Queensland teammate slash uh, one of our other ambassadors who played for the opposition uh, in uh, Soraya in that state champs? Um, well, in that particular state champs, Soraya was in the Division One, okay. so I didn't get to play her. But for under 18s, I did, and um, yeah, it's always fun to play against the other oppositions, and you get that like competitive playing against mates. And yeah, Maya, you mentioned that you came second. Now, obviously, funny enough, I had Redlands on the show, which is the team that beat you uh, in the grand final in the A1. Um, I guess, uh, tell us a bit about the, the grand final and uh, when did you think you, did you think you had them? I was, I was very confident going into it that we were going to win. Like I thought we were going to come back. Um, they were batting really well, but I thought we were going to hold them out. And um, I think they had uh, one of the girls, um, Becky, she hit like just this absolute bomb. And I think that, and then we were down 3 nil in like the second innings. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll be right. And then the innings after that, we were down 10 nil. And I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know how our chances are going now. They, they, <laughs> chances might be low that we're going to make a comeback. <laughs> but <laughs> very confident going into the game. Um, walked out with a bruised ego, but it's okay. It's okay. What did you learn from that grand final loss to uh to I hopefully get a revenge on them next time? Yeah, I think definitely like um keeping up the like positive attitude because as soon as that big like that um auto got hit, everyone just you know we're like oh we're not going to come back from three nil, and then when it was ten nil, we're like okay we're definitely not coming back from ten nil, but um I think yeah definitely just gotta stay positive and keep your head up and um yeah don't drop you know, keep supporting your teammates as well because I think everyone's getting a bit angsty. So we were making errors and, um, yeah, it just wasn't. But, mm. yeah, definitely um, got to fight through to the end, I reckon. Chelsea, you mentioned that you um, played uh, for Harvey Bay, which I know living in Harvey Bay, uh, well, you used to live in Harvey Bay, that Harvey Bay and Bundaberg are fiercest rivals um, in any sport um, mm. in that wide Bay Fraser Coast region. Um was it difficult to play for Harvey Bay? I've played for Harvey Bay for a couple of seasons now just because um, our Bundaberg season and Harvey Bay season kind of combined into Harvey Bay. Um, but it's actually, um, we've made a new association now and it's Coral Coast Softball Association. So okay. now it's pretty much like Bundaberg players and yeah. But no, it's always good playing for Harvey Bay. Got those Harvey Bay players too, so yeah. I know that both of you got selected in the Queensland team uh, for Nationals uh, in 2022, uh, whenever that would be uh, uh, at this stage. Um, how good was it to uh, see your names on the, on that list? Yeah, so, um, I, so I made the 23 squad. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I was really happy obviously to be a part of it because it's always good to you know make the teams but um yeah I'm just yeah I'm looking hopefully we get a tournament in and um so some trainings was last last year obviously because of COVID and everything but um yeah hopefully we get have a tournament and yeah see how it goes but very exciting yeah I was excited too I'm um probably one of the younger ones so I'm excited to get some experience, even if it's just the trainings with the girls. And then hopefully if I was to make the team and then nationals would go ahead, like it would just be a really good experience with all of the older ones who can teach me some stuff. How good is to be selected on the 23s team together? I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> we've, got a, like, uh, we've got quite a few of the like Panthers girls. Um, yeah in the team and and even like the other um girls in the team i think everyone gets along really well because we've all been playing together for like all these years but yeah i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be good fun definitely 
it's good to play in Brisbane as well because, as I said, there are a lot of Panthers girls in it. So um, I'll be comfortable and it'll be fun. We all get along pretty good. So, yeah. I'm assuming both you weren't surprised that you got selected or were you surprised that you got selected? I didn't have the best tournament. <laughs> so I was a bit, I was a bit like, oh, like fingers, like there was, there was a lot of fingers crossed that my name was going to be on that list. But um, yeah, happy that, happy that it ended up. I didn't think that I had the greatest tournament. I didn't play too bad, but um. I think there always is that little, like, thought that maybe you're not going to make it and, like, you're just hoping that you're going to see your name on that list. And obviously there's, like, a lot of competition, especially this year. We had a lot more teams um, in especially, like, the Division Two, because, like, Redlands and Redcliffe and all that put in two teams. So there was definitely more competition there this year. But, yeah. Why did both of you think that you had terrible uh, state champs? And I don't think I had a terrible state champs. I think <laughs> – I don't know. It wasn't terrible, but I feel like I could have done better. I don't know. Like – Probably mentally, like, I didn't play too bad, but I think if I was mentally, like, um, being positive and, like, supporting myself, I would have felt a lot better and been a, a lot more confident. Yeah, no, mine was the same. I think um, I was I – that was my first year playing up for Brisbane Red. Um, and so I think I was a bit – nerve like I was a bit nervous and I didn't control that very well so I got a bit um panicky at times and probably swung at a lot of stuff that I should have and um and yeah I was a bit nervous in the field so I think yeah just nerves kind of really bit me in the ass on that one (laughs) so what are both you hoping to improve on uh before that nationals coming up um, definitely that mental side, like it is a really big part of the game. And when I believe in myself, I do so much better than when I'm in doubt and like, oh, yeah. Um, for me, just getting like those extra trainings in behind my belt, because I feel like the more, yeah, obviously the more you train, the more confident you feel and the better you feel. And yeah, so I think definitely get a couple more, yeah, a couple extra trainings in and um yeah, I think I'll hopefully be set. Um, tell us a bit about your Panthers team and uh, especially cold plays we should watch out for uh, in the coming weeks. So um, I think uh, I, I think the team's going to do pretty good over the next couple months. But um, I think players to definitely look out for, yeah, obviously, Stacey Porter. I mean, maybe, I guess. Um, Justine as well. Justine Smithhurst. Um Charisma, she's a uh, um, lefty slapper, so she's been in the Heat team, and um, she's very quick. And um, yeah, Mackenzie, and can I say the whole team? No, <laughs> but um, and yeah, Maka as well. She's very good in the field and very tidy. Oh, and Suzuka, she's just an absolute <laughs> stunner. <stuff. laughs> I love, I love Suzu. She is <laughs> wow, chef's kiss, amazing. <laughs> and Chelsea, I guess. <laughs> well, you weren't allowed to say me. I haven't actually played up in A1 yet, though. So, <laughs> can't say me. Well, when you do, when you do. I heard Matisse is still in my position, though. Yeah, Matisse, they bought She's Matisse pitching on, on the weekend, three up, three down. The pitch. And the funny thing is, she got three up, three down. <laughs> <laughs> and, it was, yeah, and it was just pop fly, pop fly, pop fly. And she comes in the dugout and she's like, yeah. And I'm just like, she's too confident now. That's why Chelsea yeah. needs to come back. She needs to rein her in before she <laughs> becomes uncontrollable. I would have shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> Put her in her place. I will. <laughs> Um, Our A2 team this season has had a lot of um, pickup players from like A3 and stuff. But um, 
definitely Tanika is one to look out for. She's a good pitcher. Her and I work together pitching. And she's also um, very strong on the bat too. So, yeah. And then obviously Matisse pitching. So. <laughs> Ask you this question, Charles. You just mentioned about um, Matisse just a moment ago, who I had on the show when um, I spoke to her about Redlands. Um, so, who's the better pitcher out of you two? I know the answer. I know the answer to this. Matisse, hands down, is the better pitcher. <laughs> I, was, I was actually hoping you was going to say yourself, but anyway. Um, well, the, stat, the stats don't lie. The stats don't lie. Three up, three down. Exactly. No. When when did I no, do that? Yeah. Lot? I don't even know. <laughs> well, well, based off your nationals two years ago, um, <laughs> I, no, I'm pretty sure you got voted MVP in that in that final. Um, I mean, you're the better pitcher, but anyway, considering there was no nationals last year, and technically Queensland's still the defending champs um, in the in at the national stage. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, how good is that to be the two-time national champs at the moment? Um, pretty good. Two, yeah. I just really want to play nationals again. It's It's been pretty hard, like, not playing nationals, to be honest. Like, I don't know. It doesn't – I feel, like, different as a player after not playing nationals. But, yeah, it feels pretty good. Finish off with some lighthearted questions about your respective um, A1 and A2 teams there at the Panthers. Um, who had the most embarrassing moments on the field this season and what was it? And I've got a feeling Matisse might be in one of these answers. Yeah, probably. You'd think so. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know if enough's happened yet. Yeah. Um, oh, actually... I I was like um oh, oh this is probably like I was first base coach for um the A two team the other week and I didn't know I think there was two out but I thought there was one out and the ball goes up and the chick takes off and I'm like get back get back and she she looks at me and then she's running back and then I'm like no go and then she runs and then I'm like no come back and she was just running back and full of all the balls in the air and. <laughs> I was like screaming at her, I'm like, get back to the base. And she ended up running and I was losing it at her. And then I realized it was two outs and the ball dropped in. And I honestly reckon she could have gone into three, even like possibly four. But she ended up being stuck at two because of my awful coaching. And yeah, that was a bit that was a bit embarrassing. And I kind of had to go sit sit back on the bench and kind of know my place after no. that. So like, don't let me back out on. Um a uh, thought just popped into my mind um, the other day. I had just got into the softball from like my long drive down, and we're walking up, um, and the A one team's playing, and I just hear this squeal, and I was like, "What was that?" And I looked down, and it was a Maya, and she had just gotten hit by the ball. <laughs> like, yeah, mentioned that, did you, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. And I just knew by the scream. I was like, what was that? Of course it was a man. It, I don't know how to describe it. It sounded like if someone like shot a bird out of the air. Like it was like a it was like a hawk yelling. I can't even describe it. And yeah. It, really was. It, it was yeah. I was in pain. That ball hit me hard. I swear. She did have a good bruise. Yeah. Surprising. I did have a good bruise. <laughs> I'm surprised, I'm surprised you recognise the squirrel chills. I know. Well, at first I was like, what even was that? But then when I saw it, I was like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the comedian, the best singer and the best dancer on the team? I, I think Matisse gives it her best. I wouldn't say she <laughs> is the best, but she tries the hardest. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. it was an effort. <laughs> Tanika's actually not a bad dancer. Like she gets, all, she does all the TikTok things, so she's kind of like down with it. But so I say Tanika's the best dancer, and Matisse tries her best with the singing. Juzzy's pretty good at singing, actually. She sings. Oh. A lot. Yeah, it's hidden, hidden I'm talent. A really good singer. That's my secret talent. 
I'm not going to get you to sing anything, so don't worry. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> <is that>? A lie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone into their TikToks? And if so, is any on TikTok famous? I'm definitely not. I have like 13 yeah. followers and like half of them are my other accounts. <laughs> I feel like Sophie's not. I think Sophie's got a couple. Oh yeah, on. she has actually. Yeah, so she's slowly climbing the, the yeah. ladder. And yeah, then, we'll yeah. go with Sophie. We'll go with Sophie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the thousand k. Yeah. Wow. About one k views. She's she's getting there. Is uh, any pregame superstition or ritual by either of you? I like I have to watch the picture warm up and I have to take at least like one swing like kind of like getting into it otherwise I feel like when I go up to bat I've never seen a ball in my life <laughs> so I think yeah I, and I'm not even like subtle with it like I will just stare like while the pitch is warming up I'll just be like like standing back I feel like I need to be like a bit like you know do the side eye but no I'm just seeing it all <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think I have a pre-game superstition but I am very superstitious like um during the game so if we go around like high-fiving each other you have to do that order every time and just like everything that you do in the game it has to be the same so yeah unless you're doing bad then you got to change something but yeah yeah. Which is how special is to be part of the Smash FM family as ambassadors? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think it would be good to kind of, um, I don't know, just be a part of the family. And we're still waiting on our caps, actually. But um, it's yeah. coming. It's coming. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, no, good. I'm very grateful to be a part of it, I think. Like, I have so much fun every time we get to come onto these and, um, yeah, just love the environment and everything's so, like, happy. And I feel like I'm the number one fan on Instagram. You um, are. I am. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. You know what I found in my calendar the other day? I was going to mm-hmm. text you, um, Will, but it was the 10-year, is it 10 years? 10-year anniversary of Smash FM. It was in my calendar. It came up like as a notification. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to text you about it, but then I didn't. <laughs> the one is how special to be ambassadors with each other. Yeah, it's good. It's good fun, especially because like, you know, Panthers are the best and we're the best ambassadors. So it's like, it goes hand in hand and it's, yeah, it's a very big privilege. Yes. <laughs> I think, <laughs> um, I don't know. I think we just have like that lighthearted kind of vibe, I guess. So we'll just like come on here, like say like what we think and kind of show everyone how we are. But yeah. Well, both of you, thank you so much for giving up your time to join us. Always uh, enjoying uh, having both of you on the show and uh can't wait to see how the, the rest of the season goes, of course, between now and, uh, well, at least the next couple of weeks or so. And uh, hopefully all goes well and uh, for the Panthers and you can continue that uh, charge back towards uh, another premiership uh, in around about Feb, March, I think, next year. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. And that's the mayor and Chelsea there from the Panthers Softball Club. And, of course, uh, we'll put up, uh, the, of course, the schedule coming up uh, for the team in the next, uh, of course, in the in the month of November. There's more on the Smash Sports Show right after this. Don't go away here on the 10th year celebration. <laughs>